I'm not going to go for my Too Faced foundation for class on Zoom. I'm just not. Hey y'all, it's a girl Maya and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a video on how to slay your class this semester. And basically, it's kind of just going to be a natural look. A zoom friendly as well I'm sure a lot of us are not actually going to classes most of us are doing it online or so so if that's the case with you please watch this video it will help you out a lot I'm just gonna include a few of my tips on how to do your makeup the fastest say when you're waking up like five minutes before class and also how to make it look like you did more without actually doing more you know what I'm saying and also I wanted to say I am filming with my new microphone today it is the blue Yeti microphone this is my first time filming with it so please don't judge me for the sound quality if it's not perfect just yet there's so many like settings and if you guys want to know where I got it from and the link and all of that that will be in the description box down below so without further ado let's get into the video so I got you guys zoomed in a little bit so you can see what's going on okay first things first pull the hair back you don't want your hair in your way it's gonna make you move slower okay so keep trying to move it out the way second thing second eyebrows I went and got them threaded and tinted my brows today actually so that's why they look really really bold I would really suggest that when the school year comes around because it's gonna make your makeup routine go a lot faster you don't even have to do anything to your eyebrows really I'm still gonna do something because I just and it lasts about like two or weeks or so so you know it's just something you can add into your maintenance routine if you are someone who likes to use sponges then please go ahead but I am just not someone who can use sponges for foundation and concealers because it just I don't like the finish so I always use my brushes for liquid products like foundation and concealers so what I just put on my face was the Milani prime shield primer and I'm also going to use Fenty foundation today I decided to choose Fenty foundation because it's a medium coverage, I would say, like a light to medium coverage. So if you're someone who doesn't wanna wear like a lot of foundation, oh my gosh, I'm just dropping everything. <laughs> so if you're someone who doesn't wanna wear a lot of foundation or a lot of makeup, you know, Fenty is a good option. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. And uh, really, for this makeup look, you don't have to wear any foundation. But I am just not that type of person who cannot wear foundation. I have too many acne scars that I like to cover up. I mean, on good days, on days when my skin is like really clear, I can do that. But it hasn't been many of those days lately, so this is what we're doing. If you take your time and blend in your foundation, everything else will blend in great, okay? But if your foundation is not blended in well, girl. I can't make you no promises. Next, I'm going to use my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. If you'd like to see the shades and everything that I'm using, uh, they'll be in the description box. Just cause I'm not gonna take the time to go through all that in this video. I did a review on all of the Fenty, not all of the Fenty products, but I did a review on a full face of Fenty. So everything I used to do a full face of makeup, I reviewed it in that video. So you definitely want to check that out. I'll put a link to it up here, somewhere on the screen, in the description box for sure. So I know you're probably thinking like, well she's, she just did foundation and now she's doing concealer. This is a full face. Like, honey, look, for me, I feel like if I wear makeup, I I'm wearing it for a purpose you know what I'm saying like I love the whole no makeup makeup looks and all of that 
and like the minimal looks and everything and honestly this is like a minimal look to me but the purpose is usually to cover up a lot of my like discoloration acne scars stuff like that like I'm not gonna wear it just to still see that stuff like what was the point what did I just spend 30 to 40 minutes on my face for is what I'm trying to figure out but for this video we are not spending 30 to 40 minutes we're spending about 15 <laughs> 10 maybe actually actually really without all the talking and everything i could do this in five to ten minutes now it's setting time i'm using fenty beauty loose powder i know it's a lot of fenty beauty but hey what can you say they're they're pretty good with the face makeup they're they're pretty good with the face products i'm sorry they're good with all their products but like this video is mostly about face, not gonna lie. Oh, also, before I do that, I'm just gonna add a little bit concealer onto my eyes, just because they're like, if I don't put any concealer or foundation or anything on my eyes, they're gonna be a little darker than the rest of my makeup, because my, my eyes are just, they've been getting darker on their own, and I really don't know why, but it's a sad, sad thing but I'm gonna try to use more like eye creams and hydrating stuff because I feel like that would help with its pigmentation. I'm just buffing this in. So I didn't put like a lighter powder under my highlighted portions because that would take way too long. And for school, you know, for class, I'm usually running late. So I like to keep it short and sweet and just as simple as I can. But I'm gonna show you some ways to like make it look like you're doing more. And one of those ways is bronzer. Please don't forget to use bronzer, okay? Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Mocha Mami. Just gonna add it. Bronze up those cheeks, baby. Also, this is a very like small amount of makeup that I've been using. Like my foundation, all I did was like a drop and a dot. And like I don't even do a dot on my forehead like I blended it all out I really haven't been using like a lot of product and that will also help with wearing the mask if you're like going to class somewhere where they're actually making you go to class and during a pandemic it will show up probably a little less on your mask so save you a few washes perhaps so i'm gonna go into my brows and i'm just gonna fix them up a little bit okay they're not perfect like these like little corners i don't really like them but I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to fade away a little bit the tint but I kind of like just try to fix it up a little one thing that you need to have time for if you just want to look a little bit better without doing a lot is blush like just have some time to tap into some blush and put on your cheeks boom damn the chucks are out already it's 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 5 a.m. 448 gonna do a little subtle highlight it's not gonna be too much too pop and too in your face um, just cuz I don't like that for a daily class look so I'm gonna choose the Fenty Beauty highlight kilowatt the I think I'm gonna go with I have this duo one right here with mo money and afternoon snack and I think I'm gonna go with afternoon snack I just remember mo money being a little more glittery so I'm gonna go with afternoon snack and I'm putting this on my tear dot on my nose boom tear dots my nose and I'm also gonna add it to my cheeks 
I don't know about you guys, but I really don't try to do the most for class at all. It's usually too early to even be trying to think about anything like that. If I have stuff to get into in the rest of the day, then I'll probably try to do a little more, but really. <laughs> So before I put on my mascara, I'm gonna set my face with my MAC Fix Plus. Next, mascara. I am definitely not wearing lashes. If you really wanna like pack on your mascara and make it look like you got on some lashes or something, then it's gonna take you about five minutes. It's not gonna be like a foo, 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 foo. No, you're gonna be going back and forth for like a few minutes. And sometimes I just do mascara on the top of my lashes. Sometimes I just say whatever to the bottom and because that just wastes more time. For school, class, Zoom, you know, <laughs> during a pandemic, I just, I just don't care that much to be looking all that great on the day-to-day -day with my makeup you know I'm sorry I'm just not gonna do every single thing I just not I'm, I'm not I'm sorry but you know to make it look like you did more you know just always make sure you have time to add the blush highlight highlight in the or tear dot that makes you look like you did more and you know really taking the time to cake on that mascara that will make you look like you got on some lashes. To finish off this look, I'm gonna give you guys actually two lip options. The first one, where'd just go? Okay. The first one is gonna be the Fenty Beauty, what is this? Oh, <laughs> the first one is gonna be the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle Lipstick, and it is in the shade PMS. So it's a dark lip. And I really wanted to suggest this because I think everyone should know by now that a really bold or dark lip makes you automatically look like you did more with your face than you already did. You know what I'm saying? It makes you look like you have on more makeup than you do. So if you don't want to look like you have on a lot of makeup, then probably just stick with the nude. I love it. I, ooh, yes. You guys, I love a dark lip. Did I tell you I love a dark lip? Because I do. Okay, so this is the brown lip. It's actually like a reddish brown. So I really love it for the fall. It's September, about to be October in like two weeks. This year is like flying by, which I really don't mind. Get us up out of here, please. For the next lip option, it's going to be not even like a lipstick. It's barely a color, you guys. The Fenty Beauty Slip and Shine Sheer Lipstick. So it's a shiny lipstick, very sheer, like they said. So I went with the color Cookies and Cocoa. So it looks like this. It's literally so beautiful, you guys. It's so moisturizing. It feels like a lip balm. So it's gonna be like the perfect lip for class and like Zoom meetings. It's perfect because it's not like you have on a lipstick, but it's also like not just your bare lip. You see what I'm talking about? It's like gorgeous. And honestly, I had this on in the beginning of the video too. This is the nude lip option and I hope you guys like it. Leave a comment down below if you'd prefer to wear this nude lip on a Zoom meeting or to your everyday classes, or the other lipstick by Fenty, the PMS one. So leave a comment down below on which one you like the best. All right, you guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely thumbs up this video if you liked it. It really helps you girl out. And also, subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to do that so you won't miss my next video that I upload. You check the description box down below. And there's a lot of valuable information in there, such as my wig review, the wig that I'm wearing. I did a review on it. I'll link it down below. I'll also link the full face of Fenty that I did did as well as all my social media accounts so if you'd like to follow me on instagram twitter 
definitely follow your girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!